Gazan Fali here. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create this kind of pulse effect for the button using the Elementor page builder. So if you want to create something like this using the Elementor page builder where you have a button and it automatically have this kind of pulse effect and when it pulse, it drops these shadows towards the all sides of this button. So if you want to see that how you can create this kind of effect using the Elementor page builder, then without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is to log into your WordPress dashboard and in here you want to go to these pages and in the pages I want to do this effect for the home page. So I'll click on this edit with Elementor. This page is already created using the Elementor page builder. So once the page will get loaded, you can see we have this page get loaded here. I want to select one of those buttons. So maybe what I can do is to create a new button here. So I'll drop the button there. As you can see I already did the styling in the global settings. So they are automatically getting applied here. But don't worry you want to drag in the button and then you can go to this style tab and in here you can change the background color so i want to change this background color to this blue color and for the hover i want to change the color to this kind of light blue color here also then what i want to do is to go to the advanced tab and in here for the width i want to make it as the inline width. that is very important now i want to change the text for the button and want to call it as book and appointment and then what i want to do is to make it medium so that it should look something like that and then i'll select this column and in here i'll align horizontally in the center so that it should come in here here you can see i want to make it large so both of them should be the same so now they both are the same what i want to do is to go to the advanced tab and in the advanced tab i want to go to the css classes and in here i want to type in a class that is b double t and short form for the button at least that's what i use as you can see this has already started uh, to have kind of like a pulse effect but why it is doing like that because i already have this code added on the website and let me show you that how you can add that code on the website so what you want to do is to click on this custom css and in here i'll provide you this code you'll have to insert the code in here what it will do it will automatically add this effect into the button so if i update this one here and if i go to the website and if i refresh this page and if we scroll down you can see in here that we have this kind of pulse effect in here with the shadow so now what you can change in here you can change the color of the button obviously in order to change the color of the button what you want to do is to go to this style tab and in the style tab you can change the background color first of all so for example if you want to keep the different color you can change the color using the elementor default settings then in order to change the shadow color that you are seeing here you will have to change the rgba values so those rgba values that you have to change are here so this one is as you can read this is rgba red green blue and alpha alpha determines the opacity for the color so 359114 is the color code and 0 0.8 is the opacity so if you want to choose a different kind of shadow you'll only have to use the different values and you can replace those values here and make sure you change these alpha values as well you can change them according to your need so in this way you can create this button i hope you'll be able to create the button yourself on your website so if you have learned something new from this video make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you will always get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you very much i'll see you in the next video